How's it going guys, Equal here, and welcome to week number two of season six of the PGL. This week we're up against Gearhart and his Seattle Star Raptors. Um, I'm reading his messages right now. Um, this is obviously a rain team, so this is a little bit, uh, a little bit of a different team that we're going up against. So we're not bringing sand. So, YOLO. Uh, it's in the party. Yes, it is. Before we start, I do have to mention though that I had to change the Raichu that I was bringing. Because it can't have Lightning Rod and Surf. Surf is event, so I changed uh, Surf to Grass Knot for the Mammoth Swine. Does the same thing, it's just a little bit awkward because Delphox is now a little bit more of a problem, but I don't think he's going to bring the Delphox. And if he does bring the Delphox and not the Mega Electric, then I will have a problem. But we should be okay. Uh, so, we shall see what team he brings. Let me bring Snapchat up on my phone so that I can knock off his mods. And in fact, you know what? I think I'm wearing the exact same shirt that I did for my last week battle, which was over a week and a half ago. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He brought pretty much exactly what I thought he would bring. That's... Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad for me. That's really not bad. Oh my god, that's pretty good. Watch me say that and then just get destroyed. Okay. Definitely, 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 definitely scarfed Mammoth Swine. I'm sure of it. So I'm going to leave with a dedicated Mesprit lead. If you don't watch the team builders, then you have to watch the team builders to know what I'm going on about. But Mesprit is our dedicated lead. This is great. Uh, the Lucario actually scares me a little bit, though. Fortunately, we outspeed it with our uh, Excadrill. It seems like he prepped a lot for Sand. If I'm just looking at it as it is, it seems like he prepped a lot for Sand. And he was not expecting the team that I brought. Oh, that Mammoth Swine is going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. But this is good, this is good, this is good. So he prepped well for it. He prepped well for his team. He sends out Izanagi, which is his Mega Manectric. Alright. I'm predicting here just a standard Vault Switch. Um, now I think it's a good time to get at my rocks. Yeah. I'm going to play it safe, get up the rocks. And do the do. I think he's just going to Volt Switch. If he Volt Switches, that's good for me. That's real good for me. Oh, it's so cold. It's been snowing for the past, like, three days. He Volt Switches. I think I can live this. Comfortably can live that. Comfortably. And I would honestly calc the set, but I know he's max special attack, so what's the point? What is the point? Go into your Mammoth Swine. Try and knock me off. Do it. Vitala. Which is his Mama Swine. Okay. This thing doesn't quite die to a Grass Knot. Because it hasn't been hit by the rocks. But I'm going to go for it. Because it's a perfect move for me to go for. It's like it's genuinely just the best. This is why we have this Mesprit. And I'm going to be able to tell if this is a Scarf Mama Swine or not. Or if it's Life Orb. And if it's not Scarf, then... Which actually it might not be, because he brought more rain than I was expecting. He brought, like, Cabotops. 
And if it's not Scarf, then um, if he's not max speed, then we out outspeed, and we do outspeed. Okay, that's not bad actually. That's not bad. There's the knockoff. So we're living that. And I can tell from that damage that did about 65%. Did about 65%. So I'm uh, thinking if that is a max HP, minus why. I'm thinking that that's max HP. You know what? No, it's not. It's a salt vest. That's what it is. It has to be. Uh, give me a salt vest. Yeah, that's that's a high roll on Max, unless he's not HP invested. Um, I can stay in. But to be honest, I think he's probably going to want to save this. And if he is, then what's he going to go out to? To catch the thing. It's the Skarmory. Okay, you know what? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to U-turn. Because I think he's going to swap out into Izanagi. Which is his Mega Manectric. Okay. All right. That's actually real nice. That's hella nice for me, because that's a free switch into Excadrill. He didn't bring the Mimikyu. Do I want to go to Excadrill here? Yeah, I do, don't I? Because Raichu is good, but it can't do anything in return. So I think Excadrill is the way forward. Now he's going to predict the Earthquake and go into one of his flying types, there's no question about that. I think he is definitely going to do that. But that's why I have the rock slide. That's why we have it. Go into your Pelipper. Vegetayu. It's a Skarmory. It's not ideal, but we'll be able to see how much damage we do with it. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's fucking nothing. <laughs> Bruh, that's nothing. Okay. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm thinking about it, this might be the perfect time for me to start setting up with my Salamence. I know I said that I wasn't going to do it. Uh, I need to be. I need to. Uh, no, I need to get rid of this thing first. I need to. Yep. Let's go into Raichu. His Manectric doesn't have. Uh, what's it anymore? Lightning rods, so. Right, he's nice, and he just defogs. Now, uh, now that the, we know that the Mammoth Swine isn't Scarf, that brings in an awful lot of opportunity for me, because I don't remember what... This thing's Expert Belt, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Expert Belt. Ooh, do I want to knock off here? We don't see Leftovers. I don't see leftovers. To be honest, I don't lose anything from going for Thunderbolt. Like, he could swap into Mamo, but if he does, I'll just outspeed. And I know that a, an Icicle or an Ice Shard isn't going to kill me, so. It's not like I'm losing much for going for this. I kind of wish I had Extreme Speed instead of Knock Off now. Oh well. But yeah, that's good. That's Ruba for us. That's real. Real nice. Real nice. Uh, 
And once this thing is gone, then we can start setting up Salamence. Or if it's low, then we can start setting up Salamence. He withdraws into Izanagi, which is his Manectric. That's just to take the hit, isn't it? It has to be just to take the hit. Yeah. Ooh, big damage. Big damage, boys. Um. Okay, an overheat would be kind of upsetting. So let's swap out to Sylveon. Just so that I can tank any hit. And I want to see what kind of thing he's going to go for. If he carries the overheat or not. He goes for hidden power, which is probably hidden power ground then. Not doing a giggity goddamn thing. Oh, I love it. Do I want to set up my... Nah, no, 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 no. It's not worth it. It's gonna... Okay, he's going to swap here. I have to figure out... Because a hyper voice is kind of obvious. But he'll probably vault switch. It's not the worst time to go for an Excadrill swap. Let's do that. And hope that he doesn't hit power ground again, because if he does, then that's kind of shitty. Fault switch. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, I need to calc whether a rock slide will kill this thing. There's my custom set. There it is. Metric Mega, you all out attacker from level 50. I hate how it's just automatically level 100. Rock Slide does not. Iron Head does not. Saying that, the Hidden Power Ground, I don't think will kill me, will it? Nah. 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 To be honest, I kind of just want an Earthquake, as is, but two Rock Slides will kill, so. Rock slide it is. He withdraws, probably into the Skarm. Jatayu. Skarmory. Okay. I have to swap again here. Ooh. Does it have to be into Raichu? I think it has to be into Raichu. I really want to go out into Salamence and start setting up. I really do. It's like 55% health. So unless I... Actually, you know what? That's not the worst idea in the world. Because I can hit everything else super effectively, or at least neutral. Let's do it. Because now he's going to start setting up his hazards. And he's low enough to the point where I feel comfortable with this. Okay, roost. Never mind. Never mind. And now the setup games begin. It's okay, now that we know that the Minectric has hidden power ground. Like, we're fine. But even, we'll, we'll outspeed after this Dragon Dance, so it's okay. It's alright. It's not bad. It's not bad. I have a text. Keep on, like, going back, because it's weird having, like, such a an awkward fragmented recording setup where I have to go from DS there's my screen on this side, and then there's damage calcs on this side, and I have his team on my phone. You have to go back and forth and back and forth. That's weird. It's not as simple as, as streaming or, like, you know, just playing random games. If he toxics me here, I'm going to be upset. Roost. Roost. 
I don't think he'll have the Toxic. I think he's more than likely going to have Spike, Stealth Rock, Defog, Iron Head, or Brave Bird. Because I got Spike stacked last game. Drillpeck. He's intimidated. Still does more than I thought. Okay. Here's where the magic happens. I have Supersonic Sky Strike. If I hit him with a Supersonic Sky Strike, how much will that do? I'm plus two. 50 to 60 percent. So I need one more. I need one more Dragon Dance. And then I'll be good. Let's go for it. Obviously he has the Sturdy, so I'm not going to go for super duper, like, 100% damage. I'm just going to go for as much as possible. And I'm hoping that the Mammoth Swine won't kill us with a, with a nice shard. If it does, then it does. But I'm pretty sure it's max HP. And max special D, so... Oh, well, I guess it will, even if it's not invested. Yeah, I'm just going to have to kind of hope that he doesn't have the Ice Shard. Let's get it. Big damage. As he goes for another drill pack. I'm actually okay with... Sacking off... Salamence for his Skarmory. I think it's an alright switch. Um, there are worse ways to go anyway. Oh, it's a rocky helmet. Okay. But I want to keep this in the back. Which is an option. But it's so nice, it's so good. He's probably going to calc right now. I mean, I don't think I'm going to save this. Because if you know Grizz's score, uh, good buddy Grizzlock, who, are, who we are battling next week, if you know what he got in his match this week, um, I kind of want to match that, but I won't. So I'm okay with just sacking this for the for the win. He's taking an awful long time. I wonder if an Aqua Jet will kill me from Cabotops. Okay, there's the Mammoth Swine. He took so long that I'm just going to stay in. Um, if he does have Ice Shard, then he has Ice Shard. He does. It's whatever. I didn't actually need the Salamence for anything else. It was more so just for a, a late game sweep, but I'm okay with having it just as it is. Um, and letting it go down there, so his Skarmory is gone. Let me mark that off on my thing. Now it just remains the bulk of his team. What am I going to do against this thing? The entirety of the rest of his team is kind of weak to Caldeo at this point. I can't sweep with Excadrill until I get rid of the Pelipper. But I am more than happy to go into Keldeo here and hit him with a Surf. I am more than happy to do that. Or would it be better off for me to just go straight to... No. Surf. Because if he brings in the Pelipper, which is what I'm worried about, uh, I'm still getting the Drizzle Boost.
big damage. <laughs> Such big damage, dude. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. He might try and save this, and if he does, the correct play to do would be to Icy Wind. Is this a Scarf Pelipper? This is a Choice Scarfed Pelipper! Boy, you must be out of your mind. He must be out of his mind. Okay. I'm going to Iron Head. I'm going to Iron Head this. He might go into the Lucario. And if he does, that's bad. But if he goes into Kabutops predicting a Rock Slide, then Iron Head will be nice. Vitala. That's the Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine is dead. Goodbye. That's all good. I need to keep this uh, Excadrill around now because the Pelipper is scarfed. And although I think I think the Raichu can take a hit, oh well, Sylveon can as well. I'd like to keep this thing just just in case. This is the Lucario, isn't it? No, this is the Kabutops. All right. All right. will outspeed me he will outspeed me I wonder if Sylveon how well can Sylveon take a hit decently well decently well, or is it just worth sacking off my Mesprit? Because this is going to be a turn to wish. So is it max going to do 77%? No, yeah, I can, I can go to Sylveon. Oh wait, no, that's not rain boosted, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. That's what? Two turns of rain? This is the third? It's the third turn of rain? This is the fourth turn of rain. He has one more after this. Uh, here I can wish or I can reflect. I wonder which one is better. Probably wish. Wish is better. Wish is better. Hyper Voice is actually a two-hit KO. Fun fact. Fun fact, if I'd have kept my Salamence, we would have been a little bit better off. I kind of regret sacking it. I think I might have been better keeping it in the back and just swapping out when Mama Swine came in. Maybe sacking the Mesprit. And that's purely because it, it's resistant to water, so... Alright, how much do you do with this? Holy shit! <laughs> Holy fuck! The rain stopped. I have to protect here. He's gonna swap, but I have to, just in case. Okay, he doesn't. Good job I protected. It's a very good job I protected. Oh, you know what? 
He's choice banded. He's choice banded, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's choice banded. How much does liquidation do ordinarily? 55%. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to set up the reflect, and then this isn't bad. This isn't bad. This is not bad. I guess I'll just wish here. Oh no! All right, y'all, we're back after a solid like 20 or 30 minutes of trying to recreate the battle twice. We're here after the disconnect, and um, there are a, a few different uh, move changes and how changes, but it's, it's fine, it's whatever. Uh, right, so I go for a reflect here as he sends in his Pelipper. I need to figure out how much a Scarf Hurricane will do. So, Pelipper. Let's see. Choice. Scarf. Hurricane. There's a max of. It's max special attack modest. It is a max of 39%. So now is the time, because I'm so scared of that liquidation, to wish again. As it goes for Surf. Doesn't do any more damage. Oh, it does. It's just 49% max. Um, but that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, I've got to remember this. That's one turn of Reflect. Okay, I'm going to Protect here. And play safe. Yeah, it's the best move. It's the best move to make. I can't believe that. We disconnected them, we tried to recreate the battle once, uh, at which point he got a high high roll on his liquidation with Cabotops and killed my Sylveon, and then now we're here. Okay, so I got that. The way that he sent this in makes me think that it is special. So I kind of want to play tricky here. Uh, let's call it a nasty plot set with that. To that. Okay. All right. Okay. I kind of want to risk the double protect here, just to see. And if it's a Z move, then it'll just kill. But I'm going to go for it. And hope. Okay, we live, so we got the protect off. Oh, it's nasty plot. Oh shit, no. Oh, you know what? It can't outspeed me because it's nasty plot. So Excadrill will be fine. We'll be fine with Excadrill. Okay. Nasty plot sucks though. I'm going to have to hyper voice. There's nothing that I can do. I have to hyper voice here. As he goes for the nasty plot. He's like setting up right now. Oh my lord. Hyper voice. Ooh, that's so much damage. That's a crit. And the rain stops. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um. Okay, so flash cannon incoming. From plus four. Excadrill has to die. It has to, right? Just about, just about dies. 31.3% chance to Oko. So just about. Now, am I okay with sacking this? I need it for the Kabutops to take a hit. So the question is, what do I need less? The Raichu or the Excadrill? 
It's Raichu. I need Raichu less. Which means that unfortunately, I'm going to have to zack it. So goodbye, Raichu. Goodbye. Oh, no, wait. He's going to have Vacuum Wave. Oh, shit. You're fucking living. Okay, well, if he has Vacuum Wave, then he has Vacuum Wave. Um, Thunderbolt, we go. If he doesn't have Vacuum Wave, he does have Vacuum Wave. Never mind. So how much does a plus four Vacuum Wave do? Oh, yeah, he, it just, it, we just die here. We just die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, that fucking DC, man. That threw me off so bad. So bad. As he goes for the vacuum wave, that's going to be GG. It sucks that we have to DC there. There's nothing that we can do about it at the end of the day. We were doing fine, and now we're not doing fine. That is just the way that it is. I knew I should have hyper voiced when he's when he had Pelipper in, but oh well. It's fine. So GG to Gearheart. That battle took far longer than it should have. Um I can't be mad. There's no way I can be mad about that. That's just good prep on his part and uh good good play. So GG's and next week we're up against Grizz, who I think I'm battling this week. Cause awkward. Uh, but next week we are up against Grizz and the Boston Silk Scarfs, and hopefully we can pull out some win, because we kind of need one. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to click the like button, because it does mean I'm doing a good job, and that you guys want to see more, if you even understood any of that, because I speak too fast. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, so thank you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.